Sir, my question is, uh, how long do you estimate would it take to re restore India to its former beauty? See, we must understand this, a riverbed, for example. A riverbed is a very complex and dynamic process. It's not something that you can fix in a short period of time. It will take a thousand years. I'm saying thousand just like that because it's long. It's much more than our lifetime it will take to build a riverbed. This is why we should never damage the riverbed. Similarly, a forest ecology is not something that you can just put back in twenty-five years. You cannot do that. But in ten, fifteen years' time, we can set a direction where slowly in twenty-five to fifty years, there will be a proper forest with all the aspects involved. When I say all the aspects, I have spent weeks on end in the jungles. This is in that, you know, Gopal Swami Betta, Nagar Hole in Karnataka, that region, which is tiger country, elephant country. Once I was there for about twenty-three days in the jungle by myself. When you are there for twenty-three days, when you come out, I saw tigers, I saw any number of elephants, very close quarters. But when you come out, the biggest impression on you is the insects. Because the insect life in the forest is so big, your experience of the insects will overwhelm the experience of tigers and for elephants and everything. You will think you'll see a tiger if you go in a national park and see it, you think it's a great thing. But if you actually live in the forest, the other smaller life is so big and so phenomenal and the things that they are doing is far more important to nature than an anything else. So, when we say life, we are not just talking about ourselves. So, to put back all that, it will take a certain amount of time. But in our generation, we must set the right direction. That's all we can do, that's why we are driving for a policy. Thank you. If we uh, try to campaign near the village or the people who are illiterate, I think the greatest support will be from their the side because they are the one who is most connected to the river side. Because there is no textbook in their head, they got more yes. sense. <laughs> they never pollute it. First of all, they never pollute. If they don't it know is, how to use… It is the educated class in the world which is destroying the world. Just tell me, the uneducated, are they destroying the world? They're very eco-friendly. It is the educated. So our education itself, the way we are absorbing knowledge is not good. Our knowledge is not working for our well-being. Our knowledge is working for our destruction, which is not a good way to treat knowledge, isn't it? Thank you. Ninety-seven percent is slime water. So how we can make the slime water portable or drinkable? <laughs> See, you can make saline water or the sea water drinkable with desalination process. But what is our idea? This is like many people are talking, let us destroy earth and go and live on Mars. Why? Is it a good thing that we destroy this planet and look for another planet where we can no, go sir. and destroy that also? No, sir. The water in this atmosphere is not gone anywhere. Million years ago, how much water we had, it is still there, isn't it? Only thing is, we are not getting it. Why are we not getting it? Obviously, we are doing something wrong. Is it better to correct that or is it better to take the seawater out and after that the sea… the fish in the sea will have no water to swim in? Is that a good thing? No. If it's an emergency, we can desalinate water for drinking purpose. But you cannot do agriculture with desalinated water, that's going to be too expensive. Expense is another matter. But in attitude, why are we thinking we will destroy this and use something else? Let us revive this, isn't it? Rivers must flow. Uh, how you go, got the thought that you start this initiative? Even I was not a nice boy like you <laughs> In the sense, my, <laughs> my engagement with nature started very early. I shouldn't be telling you all this, but I went to school only when it was necessary. So most of the time I was in the forest. <laughs> So, I know what, how the forest and the mechanics of the forest works, how the animals live, how the insects survive, how the birds live, the water, everything. So, I've been just noticing things. I'm not a scientist, I'm not an environmentalist, but I'm noticing things are getting bad, very bad. So, I thought I should do something. You think I've done something wrong?
नो सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर